Hi everyone, my name is Alicia Ukani, and today I'm presenting our DubDubDub paper, The Double-Edged Sword. Let's get into browser fingerprinting. Fingerprinting is a way to uniquely identify users from potentially millions of website visitors by querying information about their browser and hardware features. Uniquely identifying people is great for things like tracking and targeted advertising, but also great for security. For example, Websites can detect when there are logins from new devices by fingerprinting and then show a multi-factor authentication prompt for new devices. This could help prevent account compromise. But there's a dilemma. Privacy advocates would like to block fingerprinting entirely because of the way it invades user privacy. But websites are claiming that they're using fingerprinting to protect user security. And if you block it, then you would lose that benefit. So we need more information on how websites are actually using fingerprinting. Our paper tackles this problem by understanding how often websites fingerprint on their login and signup pages. Our contributions include a highly accurate machine learning model to detect login and signup pages. It is far more accurate than prior work. We use this model to conduct a large scale measurement study on the top 100,000 most popular websites. We analyze the fingerprinting behavior of their login and signup pages. And finally, we've released our code and data open source. To get into the results briefly, we find the fingerprinting on 10% of authentication pages versus about 9% of other pages. We find that more popular websites have much higher rates of fingerprinting. This is true for both the home pages, but also the authentication pages. So the big question, is fingerprinting actually used for fraud prevention? There is some evidence that it is. The most popular fingerprinting script across all the authentication pages we found was from a fraud prevention company called Signified. We also found that websites are more likely to fingerprint on only their login pages and not both the login and signup pages. So this could indicate that they're actually monitoring for account compromise. Lastly, in a small scale manual analysis, we found that when we disabled browser fingerprinting scripts on two websites, we also broke their login functionality. But of course, fingerprinting is also used for tracking. We found that over half of the fingerprinting scripts on authentication pages were classified as tracking. We also found one fingerprinting script that was from a fraud prevention company, but it also sent fingerprints to an analytics company. Our paper highlights the dual nature of browser fingerprinting, it's used to both protect user security, but also invade user privacy. Please check out our paper via this QR code, and we hope you'll use our code that we have released open source. Thank you so much.